This is Steve Marsh with MSPMag.com. It's round one with Brian Lambert. We're in the uh, La Belle V Lounge here to talk about Michelle Bachman. You're having your old favor, right? I'm willing to talk myself into the old Cuban, but Johnny may have a better idea. Yeah, we're going to do an old Cuban with muddled red peppers. It's called the Nachito Mojito, named after Nachito Herrera, plays at the Dakota. Johnny's the master. I'm willing to go along. You like a little bitters in yours, do you? Nice. I like everything a little bitter. <laughs> Johnny's making the... Uh, the new Valentine's Day drink for me. It's a Charlie Brown drink, right? Happy Valentine's Day, Charlie Brown. This one's a lot more accessible, you know. It's just like whiskey, like rye whiskey with a little maraschino, a little bitters, and a little homemade cinnamon. And it's garnished with a plain wooden stick. Sometimes you find out that Cupid Zero is the chump harpoon. So there you go. <clears throat> All right, this is it. How could it be bad, huh? Oh. Yeah? Damn good. Damn good. Perfect balance of sweet and bitter. It's like Michelle. <laughs> you did get time with her, though, like in, the, in a Hardee's parking lot or something in Anoka, right? She did her thing at, at the uh, Sherburne County Republican Candidates Forum. The thing that jumped out at me from talking to folks was how little her, her truest of the true believers really care about the, the, the basic stuff of... Um, uh, of political service. I mean, you know, we've grown up kind of thinking that uh, everybody wants their congresswoman or congressman, you know, to be delivering uh, new bridges and new roads and all that kind of stuff in the district. Time after time, you, you're talking to the folks that think that she is the savior of their cause who don't care at all about that stuff. They have this kind of apocalyptic mentality. I went to D.C. and interviewed her. She uses this kind of like blood sacrifice, kind of Padre Pierce, kind of rabble rouser language to, she says, to sound the alarm and to, uh, she doesn't want to participate at all. She wants to just, she has been in opposition, she's comfortable in that role, and she just warns about uh, that the, the, this almost apocalyptic future that's not going, that isn't being inverted right now. She says about, in 2017, we'll be finished. These are the Mayans, you know. So. <laughs> Almost last call. It's a, it's a shot of whatever you want and a glass of champagne for twenty dollars and twelve cents. Johnny's such a cool guy. I mean, what is it? How does it happen like that? Is that genetic, Johnny? Is that the? It's the liquor, I think. Okay, all right. He's a, he's a bartender, giving us drinks. Like, yeah, he's super cool. You have a new show on the radio. You're clearly a very angry, uh, attacking kind of person. I'm a vicious, angry guy. Can you tell people when your show is going to be on and when they can listen to it? It's uh, 7 to 9 uh, weekday nights on FM 107.1 with uh, Shaletta Brundage, who's a very funny gal. And and you're going to be talking about girl stuff then, or how do you talk about You know, Steve, uh, you may not you know, look, think of it to look at me, but um, I am deeply informed on female issues. No, no, you're a good-looking guy. Is that what you meant? I could help you out. How's it going with that Brazilian gal, by the way? Oh, my God. She's been gone for so long. She left me a long time ago, man. Hey, Johnny, I'm ready for another one. One of the things that local politics, I think, uh, that, uh, has screwed it up is that rule against um, drinking in the Capitol. The John Marty rule. Yeah. There are a couple of local bars. The Kelly Inn over by the Capitol it used to be one of these hangouts where they'd all head for happy hour. Right. You know, they don't get together like that anymore. What's this Dayton thing you do? Oh, yeah, I just interviewed Mark Dayton. I just came from there right now. We talked a little bit about, like, you know, uh, the 12-step program and the Betty Ford Clinic and, like, the 80s when he went and, like, how he fell off the wagon and how it has nothing to do with, like, blocking people out of his office. There's an interesting connection there between um, Michelle Bachman and the retail politics of the kind that she does and people like Dayton. It is a world apart. Uh, you know, she will dive into this stuff, like I say, and have a good time doing it, enjoying it, and that vibe comes back and forth with the people she interacts with. I think that's a serious problem for Mark Dayton. Well, I think I've seen the future of rock and roll, and her name is Michelle Bachman. I think I'm going to join her. John I'm Landau. Gonna... John Landau <laughs> quote. Wow. This is uh, Steve Marsh with Brian Lambert uh, with MSP Mag for round one. Thank you very much.